Well, good morning, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Historical Landmarks. Today we are in Union County, Illinois. Got a lot to show you here. If you are an Abraham, Abraham Lincoln fan, we got you covered. There's stuff going on. And there's so much to look at. Stay tuned. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. Well, good morning. We are on the grounds of Shawnee High School outside Wolf Lake, Illinois. And we are here for this marker, this memorial. It's to all veterans, past, present, and future. And it's got um, all five branches of the military. And then there are um, stones surrounding with all the names of those that served and gave the ultimate sacrifice. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. The etching on the back with the eagle and the flag. That's just awesome. We are in Ware, Illinois. That's W-A-R-E, Ware. Of course, the popular joke is, you know, we're in Ware. and go where? Where? Yeah. We're, it, you know, it doesn't take much to entertain us here. But we have found another Lewis and Clark marker. And this one says... The Lewis, it's a scientific mission. The Lewis and Clark expedition had a scientific mission as well as others. President Jefferson urged them to study the flora and fauna along their route. The route. Route. I don't know. When passing through this area, they noted the abundant pines and cedars, unique limestone formations, and also the many fine mines of pit coal, which was used by blacksmiths. Lewis also made a reference to the Big Muddy River located on the northwest side of this county. A Shawnee village was also located nearby. And this marker is again for Lewis and Clark in Illinois. And we're still in where? 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 Yeah. Meriwether Lewis, William Clark, and their party passed this place on their way west. Here they crossed the river to visit Cape Girardeau. The next day they were relieved to find Nathaniel Pryor, a recruit who had gone hunting two days earlier but never returned. On November 24th, 1803, they camped on a rocky sandbar nearby. We are outside, a little ways outside of Jonesboro, Illinois. And this is a marker for the Anna Jonesboro Trail of Tears site and Lincoln Douglas debate. Union County was created January 2nd, 1818, when Illinois was still a territory. County commissioners established Jonesboro as the county seat on land donated by John and Juliet Grammer. During the frigid winter of January 1839, thousands of Cherokee on route from Georgia to Indian Territory in Oklahoma camped near here along Dutch Creek, unable to cross the Mississippi due to floating ice. Nearly 2,000 of the 13,000 who began the Trail of Tears died during the journey. A horrible period. Horrible, horrible thing done in our country. In the 18th, sorry, that wasn't on the sign, I digress. In the 1850s, the Illinois Central Railroad planned to run tracks through this area. Jonesboro was asked to have a survey made at a cost of $50. When the town failed to meet this requirement, Winston Davy submitted a survey routing the railroad through his property east of Jonesboro. A town was platted in 1854 along the tracks and Davy named it Anna in honor of his wife, Anna Willard Davy. On September 15, 1858, the third 
Lincoln-Douglas debate was held north of the Jonesboro Square. Lincoln was a guest of D.L. Phillips at 511 South Main in Anna. The debate was attended by less than 1,500 people, the smallest crowd of the series. During the Civil War, Anna served as one of the rendezvous points in Illinois for troops. Eight Union regiments were assembled here. General Grant spent one week in Anna mustering in troops. In 1869, the Southern Illinois Hospital for the Insane, now the Shope Mental Health Center, was built in Anna. This marker is for the Lincoln-Douglas debate on September 15, 1858, in the midst of the senatorial campaign of that year, Abraham Lincoln and Stephen A. Douglas met at Jonesboro in the third of the famous series of debates which made Lincoln a national figure. The, deba the debate was held in a grove one quarter mile to the north. We are still in downtown Jonesboro and this marker says looking for Lincoln where Lincoln walked. In 1858 Jonesboro was the bustling county seat of one of the state's oldest counties. Founded in 1818, Jonesboro was located on 20 acres donated by John Grammer. Several early politicians came from Jonesboro, including Representative John Hacker, Secretary of State Alexander Field, State Treasurer Abner Field, U.S. Senator Richard Young, and Lieutenant Governor John Dougherty. Dougherty's home still stands west of the square. Prosperous, prosperous businesses, including the Union House Hotel, pictured in the right, operated with goods shipped along the plank road to and from Willard's Landing on the Mississippi. Jonesboro boasted churches, Jonesboro College, a Masonic Hall, and a women's seminary. Two 1850s Lutheran churches are still standing south of town. At the time of the debate, Abraham Lincoln had few supporters with whom to visit in this Democrat county. The evening before, Lincoln and host D.L. Phillips went to the Union House to meet with Chicago Press and Tribune reporter Horace White and stenographer Robert Hitt. History reports they sat in front of the hotel to watch Donati's Comet. The next morning, Lincoln, accompanied by Phillips and 11-year-old son Judson, Road to the Mississippi River. Returning to Jonesboro, Lincoln visited the home of Dr. Henry Hacker. Mrs. Hacker recalled that Lincoln was so kind that everyone liked him. Lincoln also spent some time at the courthouse conversing with local politicians. Senator Douglas arrived by train accompanied by the Jonesboro Band, which had met him in Cairo the previous evening. At two o'clock, the band marched to the fairground, followed by Douglas in a carriage and a cannon brought from Cairo. Mr. Lincoln followed, walking with his hands behind him and his head bent forward, apparently in deep meditation. The band leader inquired who the tall man was. He was identified as Lincoln. We are outside of Jonesboro, Illinois, at this beautiful little park. It's wonderful here. And this marker is part of the Looking for Lincoln series of markers, and it's the background of the debates. Young Abraham Lincoln lost his taste for politics and was content with his thriving law practice after having served four terms in the Illinois legislature in the 1830s and a term in Congress in the 1840s. However, several national events stirred his moral conscience and spurred him into action. U.S. Senator Stephen A. Douglas's Kansas-Nebraska Act stated that the choice of slavery was up to the citizens of each new state or popular sovereignty. The Dred Scott decision in 1857 claimed that slaves are property, and the book Uncle Tom's Cabin caused abolitionists to pressure Congress to outlaw slavery. Lincoln didn't promote abolishing existing slavery, but he followed the Missouri Compromise of 1820, which allowed for an equal number of slave and free states in the new territories. He challenged incumbent, incumbent Douglas to debate him and allowed Douglas to select the sites of Ottawa, Freeport, Jonesboro, Charleston, Galesburg, Quincy, and Alton. 
At the Jonesboro debate, Douglas stated, the Negro is not and never ought to be a citizen of the United States. Really cool memorial here with the statues of Lincoln and Douglas. It says, in commemoration on the afternoon of September the 15th, 1858, upon this acre in the Jonesboro Fairgrounds and as rival candidates for the United States senator Senatorship from the state of Illinois, Abraham Lincoln and Stephen A. Douglas met in the third joint debate of the seven Lincoln-Douglas debates. Upon the principle set forth here, the Senate election was lost to Mr. Lincoln, but he did gain much prominence nationally and was elected to the presidency in 1860, served as Civil War president, was re-elected in 1864. He truly was Illinois' gift, the man for the ages. This debate cast a long shadow upon the pages of history. We are here in Anna, Illinois, at the grounds of the Illinois Veterans Home. And there are several markers here. The first one is the Illinois Medal of Honor recipients. The Medal of Honor was established during the Civil War and is the highest military decoration for bravery that can be awarded to any individual in the United States. The names listed on this monument are the men from Illinois who have received this award since its inception. Medals of Honor are awarded for heroism above and beyond the call of duty. The war is indicated in the last column. Some Medals of Honor have been awarded for hero heroism in peacetime and are indicated by a date. This monument honors these recipients who have served our country in time of war and peace to preserve freedom and democracy. And if you walk around this monument, there are plaques with the names. This marker is for those of this community who gave their lives in service of our country in World War II. And it lists the many names of those who died during World War II. This marker is for Operation Iraqi Freedom to all who fought and lost their lives, to all who served in conflicts around the world, in peace and wartime, past and present. And this is different. This one's erected by the Illinois motorcycle community. That's great. This uh, marker here is in Anna, Illinois, and it's uh, on the Looking for Lincoln series. Jonesboro Station, Anna. In 1851, when the Illinois Central Railroad began surveying land in Union County, the county seat of Jonesboro was thought to be the logical choice for the location of the tracks. However, the city fathers declined to pay the required $50 surveying fee. Jonesboro businessman Winston Davey was not one to ignore an opportunity and personally paid the cost of the survey across his land east of Jonesboro. He donated 37 acres in 1852 and named the new town site Anna after his wife. There was one disappointment, however. The sign on the depot read Jonesboro Station for almost 20 years. Finally, in 1873, the sign was replaced by one reading Anna. When Abraham Lincoln came to Union County in 1858 for the third debate with Stephen Douglas, he traveled by railroad from Centralia with his friend D.L. Phillips of Anna. Phillips was the land agent for the Illinois Central Railroad and was one of about 50 Republican voters in the county. The two men walked to the Phillips home on South Main Street where Lincoln stayed for two nights. 
to this marker in downtown Anna is from for Illinois Central, a railroad. It says for 100 years, Illinois Central has been the main line of Mid America, and it's 1851 to 1951. And it's right here by the the tracks. And we're here in Anna. This one is for the veterans of foreign wars. It's de dedicated to all veterans of Union County, the greatest men and women who ever walked the face of the earth. This is dedicated to the memory of all who served our country. Army, Navy, and this side has the Air Force and Marines. We are here at the rest area off of Interstate 57 outside of Anna, Illinois. And we're here for this marker right here. Memorial for King Neptune. 1942 to 1950 Navy mascot pig. Raised by Patty Boner West Frankfurt of West Frankfurt, given to Navy recruiter Don Lingle, Anna, and auctioned by L. Ord Sitter, Anna, around the state of Illinois for over $19 million in World War II war bonds. That's a good pig. All right. So, King Neptune. Well, we are at the rest area on the other side of Interstate 57 outside of Anna, Illinois. And this marker is for the Trail of Tears. It says they passed this way, home to thousands of men, women, and children. The Cherokee Nation once spread across parts of Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Alabama. The 1830 Indian Removal Act required that the Cherokees surrender their land and move west. In 1838, more than 15,000 Cherokee began their trek west from their eastern homeland to Indian Territory, which is present-day Oklahoma, over the Trail of Tears. They traveled by roads and rivers passing through southern Illinois. Nearly 1,000 died during the journey westward, and up to 4,000 died as a result of the forced removal policy. When you travel I-57 between this rest area and exit 30, you're crossing an original route of the Trail of Tears. The Cherokee camped within one half mile of where you are standing. It is likely they walked this area as they hunted in search of food to survive. And there's the um, National Historic Trail map there. We're here at a little pool off at um, off of Route 146 uh, between Anna and Vienna, and this marker is for King Neptune. We talked about him earlier, but this is where he is buried from 1942 to 1950. Buried here, King Neptune, famous Navy mascot pig auctioned for 19 million dollars in war bonds in 1942 to 1946 to help make a free world this memorial site dedicated by don c lingle to the millions of people who gave their services to ensure the life liberty and justice upon which our country was founded yeah that's pretty cool well hey y'all hope you enjoyed our trip to union county it was fascinating for me i because i am a lincoln fan i learned a lot um i'd never been to the debate site before i knew it was there but i'd never been there and that was really cool to me so i hope you learned something and um i want to know if you knew about the 19 million dollar pig because i didn't know about the 19 million dollar pig so uh you know wilbur eat your heart out that's just all I got to say. Catch you on the next episode.